And when we won victory, we have been working for low pay all this time. These soldiers who have been standing here in the rain when you are sitting there in the sheds. They have been fighting, working for either no pay or low pay. Why do they never, why do they never go on a strike? A doctor who, who goes on a strike is not a doctor. He's an enemy of our people, and we shall treat him as such. In fact, I was restrained after. I wanted to, do, uh, to, to, to go back to the bush, but some people... I therefore don't want to hear that nonsense. We, the freedom fighters, have been, I have been working for Uganda for the last 58, 50, almost 55 years, either for no pay or for low pay. But I am here. I heard some people talking nonsense. If you increase the salary of the science teacher, me, the headmaster, I will get a smaller pay than the science teacher. Now, that's very bad for my status. That is his problem, status. I am the president of Uganda. I get a low pay. There are people who get President of Uganda gets 3.6 million shillings. That's what I, that's what I, I, I get. 3.6 million, if you don't know that salary. And even the 3.6 million, I accepted it in 1996, because the, the, the MPs tricked me, and I, because I, I, I was getting 150,000 from 1986 to 1996. I was getting 150,000. But uh, I don't want to go into that story. There are, there are some public servants who get 40 million, 50 million. You try to challenge my authority, you will see. <laughs> authority does not depend on salary. I have authority, although I'm paid a low pay. I am the president of Uganda. So don't bring those nonsensical arguments. The reasons we are saying we pay the science teachers a bit ahead of the others, we are not against paying the arts, no problem. We shall pay them. But if we don't have enough money now, do we, should we say we pay nobody? so that we have got uh, equal suffering? Or do we, if we have some money, whom do we start with? And we said we should start with the scientists of the government, including the science teachers. Why? First of all, the young people who are, who are walking in the streets who have no jobs, are, are children who, who, who trained in social sciences. And want, since some time we have been de-emphasizing the production of social scientists, we want to produce more scientists. So therefore, in terms of, of producing products which are needed on the labor market, we need science teachers more than the other teachers. That's one reason. But second reason is that if the history teacher goes away from with another history teacher who who maybe does not have a job. 
a science teacher, if he goes away, it's very difficult to replace him. So, therefore, in terms of retention of the people we want, we are more desperate to retain science scientists of the government than the other categories. And an administrator, if he goes away, would I fail to get another one? So, we shall talk, talk let's talk, let's meet and talk, but be careful with us. There is nothing we ever do which we don't think about. What we do is what we have thought about very, very carefully for a long time. 